Well, howdy. Excuse me, friend. Mind if I rest up at your camp a spell? Well, it'd be my pleasure. Man needs a break from this desiccated land. Thank you, mister. Mm. Say, what's that stick you got there? Oh. Y'all ain't never seen a dowsing rod before, mister? Never seen a man summon the water up from the bare earth? Uh, mister, uh... Marston. Ah. No. Can't say I have. Hmm. It's water you're looking for. What's wrong with that lake over there? Oh, there ain't nothing wrong with Lake Don Julio. Nothing wrong with it, but we lack the fancy irrigation equipment you folks have back east. So, man needs a wellspring on his proper tie to ranch here. Makes sense. Yeah. Why, well, you know, just last week, I was over at Old Pleasant's house. Now, I think I may have found something, but... Old coot that owns a place threatened to call the law down on me, so... People act funny around strange men with sticks. They sure do. Damn fools. Bet you he don't even know how much water's running underneath his proper tie. You want me to tell him? <laughs> you know what? You ain't that stupid, mister. And I can tell. I'll tell you what. Why don't you go get the old man to sell us his proper tie for a small pittance? Then I can find the source of the water, build us a proper wellspring. Maybe I will. Well, all right then. <laughs> Property. Howdy, friend. I didn't know anyone lived out here. Whoa! Now you can't rob the place now, can you? Now get! Friendly old bastard, ain't you? I don't need me no friends, friend. We all need friends, old timer. We die alone, but we live among men. You know, I was 
interested in moving out this way with my family. Would you be willing to sell me a parcel of land? We wouldn't even have to speak or nothing. Land's too dry for farming. Bandits run all the cattle off. Why you want this land? I guess I just like the scenery. Well, I don't know. Maybe for $200, I could give you the deed to this land, find myself a place up in Blackwater. Although I never could stand the people down there. No, sir. It's a bargain at twice the price. Why don't you come back when you got the money? Make up your mind. I ain't got all day. Just give me the deed, old man. You got anything interesting, friend? Handed. Well, howdy. You got the deed? Yep. Here it is. Yeah. Oh, there's blood on this deed, Marston. I didn't tell you to kill the poor old man. Here, take the money. 
That old bastard's got a son living up in Blackwater. So I'd be real careful not to publicize this sale too much. Unless killing entire families is a pleasure of yours, of course. Good luck with the property, McAllister. Yeah. Lord have mercy. I wish I could, but I'm married. And I can tell you, with no uncertainty, that miracle cures are no laughing matter. I bid you good day, sir. <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston, good to see you. How have you been keeping? I'm well, Mr. Uh, Mr. West Dickens. Nigel West Dickens of East Cheap, London, New Waverly, New York, and Armadillo, New Austin. At your service. At my service. At everyone's service, at the service of science, of knowledge, of life. Uh, <laughs> how are your wounds? Hmm? Oh, oh, uh, much, much better. But then they would be. Mm -hmm. Would be? I know a cure for all ailments, Mr. Marston. Ah, I'm sure you do. And I'm sure for just $2 an ounce, I could live forever. Oh, but for you, sir, I do a bulk discount rate of $1.95 an ounce. <laughs> as long as you buy 100 ounces or more, that's a lot of immortality. Oh, uh, give it up, old man. That's Mr. West Dickens to you, boy. Give it up, old man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, listen, Marston, 
I'm broke. But this stuff is good. It works. I need a healthy young man like you. <laughs> Come along. Let's ride over to my newest customer at Ridgewood, and I'll explain while we go. Okay. <laughs> Head for Ridgewood Farm, John, and hurry. There are people there in dire need of my tonic. I heard about you, Mr. West Dickens. And I about you, John Marston. Hoodwinking the weak, gullible out of their hard-earned money. My dear boy, it is you who is gullible, if I may be so bold, for heeding such ill-informed discovery. You're as full of wind as a horse with the collar. I have been blessed with the gift of language. If my tonic is such a sham, how do you explain the fine fettle in which you find me? Last time you saw me, I was knocking at death's door. You should thank the doctor for that. I reckon you were acting it up worse than it was. Act I can, John. A more convincing fellow there has never been. And so shall you be there, Iago Ocasio. I don't like the sound of this. Showmanship, John. The flourish. The bow. We are operating in a competitive marketplace. Our product must stand out. And how does this involve me? We're going to use your God-given talents our advantage. I'm really starting to regret this. I'll drop you off at the outskirts of Ridgewood. That way, it won't look like we came together. Once I'm set up, saunter nonchalantly into the crowd that is sure to be forming. Eventually, I will call you up to try my tonic. After extolling the virtues, I will have you perform a few feats of wonder to amaze and impress the paying public. Such as? Oh, nothing out of the ordinary for a man in your line of work, I assure you. So it is all a shame. No, no, just a little innocent ballyhoo to grease the wheels of enterprise, that's all. Do you think that buxom young girl you see on the Boyette's camera poster knows the first thing about photography? Advertising, my boy, is the future. You hop out here, John. Follow me in on foot. See you shortly, and remember, showmanship. souls of uh, Chola Springs, gather round, gather round. Do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, uh, neurologic or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article that cures headaches, neuralgia, uh, earache, toothaches, backache, swelling, sprains, sore chests, swelling of the throats, contracted cords and muscles, anxieties and ravaged nerves, stiff joints, wrenches, dislocations, cuts and bruises, and it adds vitality and vigor to the healthy man. <laughs> but can you prove it, old man? Oh, I'm sure there's some customer here who could prove the qualities of its by taking a drink right now. You, sir, come up here. Step right up. That's the spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, pay close attention. This poor, wretched volunteer, entirely unknown to me, will demonstrate the effects of Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. 
Be you a cowpoke or athlete, this miraculous elixir developed with the wisdom of the East keeps the muscles supple and relaxes the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of youth and vigor to the whole system. Not possible, I hear you say. Well, doubt no longer. Faith can move mountains, but I ask not for faith. I am a man of science, and today, science will be vindicated. Your eyesight is greatly improved, is that not so, friend? If you say so. That's right, it is. You heard him. What a good sport you are, sir. Now, gaze over yonder at that porch. If you squint, you may just be able to make out the skull that's hanging there. Go ahead, friend. Shoot that skull and demonstrate the miraculous eyesight you now possess. Shoot it! Remarkable! The eyesight of an eagle, granted by imbibing Dr. Westicken's own patent tonic. Anybody can make that shot. This man is a fraud. If your eye's so damn sharp, why don't you try shooting my hat out of the air? My friends, our test case has been challenged to shoot a gentleman's hat out of the sky above our heads. You can fool these people, but you ain't fooling me. Right. Let's just see how sharp you is with a moving target. Steady yourself, stranger. You're more crooked than a snake and a cat. Ha! Let I tell you. Do not write him off yet. He is still adjusting to the powerful tonic. <laughs> well, you want to try that again, sharpshooter? Come on, then. Get ready. He's about to throw it. You ready to get it? Oh! Have you ever seen such an eye? Behold the power of the elixir. Looked out of the sky. Hey! Hey! What? You think you can... Put a hole in a man's hat and just walk away, do you? They don't work like that around here, mister. Come on, are you a man or not? A challenge of battle has been offered to our volunteer. Prepare for a display of Herculean brawn. Come Come on, show me something. Skeptics and dissenters, irrefutable proof. Do not let this opportunity pass you by. Look, he's over there. Go get him. This ends now. Watch out! He's got a gun. Who the hell do you think you are? You ain't leaving here alive. Shot, dear boy! The kind of deadly accuracy that can only be afforded by the West Dickens elixir. Come, I have plenty for all. You'll be fine. Get out of my way. Hey, where are you going? Oh, I want a bottle. Get me a bottle, please. One of them, right here. No harm in trying one bottle, I suppose. Well, I think that went kind of well, don't you? I'm just glad that my normal job involves either chasing after cattle or murderers. Not the likes of you, mister. Don't be like that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to say my goodbyes, head on back to the real world. Uh, 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 wait, sir. I, I've been thinking about your predicament, and uh, I think I may have an idea. I've been thinking I could be your cunning Odysseus. Beware of the Greeks burying gifts, sir. Mm -hmm. Williamson had better beware. We will make them into Trojans. I don't rightly get you. I want you to go and see my old friend, Seth. Uh, he can come across as a little curious, but I'm sure you two will get on. Uh, he's uh, most often found at Coote's Chapel. He's very devout. Why see him? Because between him and me, we can get those gates to open for you, and you can walk right in, just like in Homer's great Trojan yarn! 